to Knitography. I'm Patricia and this week I'm coming to you from our little cabin on Valsefjord which is uh, approximately an hour and 45 minutes south of our home uh, from Valsfjella. So um, we have come here for the spring break. We come here a lot of weekends and we stay here all summer but Easter is the time that we really begin our year-long season and here we are. It has been a lot of storming, a lot of varied weather. It's very cold sitting here right now but the sun is peeking over the mountain and I just wanted to pop in. This will be a short little vlog. I'm sharing a lot of my um, activities and knitting on Instagram but I wanted to tell you uh, a couple of updates from previous vlogs. One is that I have definitely found out about those uh, mittens hanging on the wall in the Selbuwalter Museum. What's really exciting uh, being by the fjord is that those mittens are fisherman mittens. Now fisherman mittens were knit by the wives of the fishermen here on the coast of Norway. They are knit with extremely bulky uh, yarn and very large needle sizes. I'm going to say they are like 15 millimeter needle sizes. 10, anywhere from 10 millimeters to 15 millimeters have I discovered patterns for. So the yarn is from the Spell Sel or the Gammel Norsk Sel, which is of course the uh, one of the yarns used to knit the Selbuvalter. So those mittens have been hung there because of their wool content. Now these mittens are knit out of, as I say, this bulky yarn and also these huge needles. And when they are knit, they are approximately half a meter long. They're 50 centimeters in length when they're knit. So the mittens are huge. And then they are felted down to be the size of uh, the fisherman's hand. Now these mittens are knitted in this way so that they are completely wind and water tight. They could get very wet indeed before they would be uncomfortable in the wearing. So that was very exciting uh, to find out about and also to see them. So I'm going to place that video back into this vlog so that you can see those fisherman mittens. Now they're very plain except for the very uh, bottom cuff where there's that little fisherman pattern on the cuff and that's a very distinct pattern in the um, uh, very traditional fisherman sweater here in Norway and I'll talk about that sweater uh, possibly in the next vlog but that little pattern from the sweater that is black and white is just put in the bottom of that cuff uh, for the fisherman's mitten. Uh, the other thing that I want to do today is to read to you my very favorite fisherman poem. Um, this poem is, uh, is very dear to me and often, although it's uh, written by a fisherman, uh, is often one of the feelings that I can um, relate to uh, being here by the sea and in our cabin. Uh, getting away from it all really is the message. Getting away from it all, getting away from responsibility. So I'd like to read that poem to you. And then I've asked my son, who is a soloist uh, on and off in the Niederostomen Gutekoid in Trondheim, to sing one of the 
uh, little children's fisherman songs for you so that you could hear that as well. So I'm going to include that in the blog, vlog. And um, he is, uh, it's very impromptu and he didn't really practice, but um, of course I'm his mom and I think it's beautiful and I think you'll enjoy it. On to my poem. I have written it down because I don't have it all by heart, but um, I'll read it to you and I hope you'll enjoy it. Fish can be bought at the marketplace, so it isn't the fish I'm after. I want to get free from my care-drawn face and back to my honest laughter. I want to get out where the skies are clean and rest by a, a coastal brink. I want to get out where the woods are green. I want a few hours to think. Oh, it isn't the fish that I'm greedy for. It's the chatter and song of birds and the talk of trees that I've known before. I'm weary of selfish words. I want to stretch out just my soul and I in a place from the strife afar and let a few care-filled hours pass by as I think of the things that are. Oh, it isn't the fish that I go to get, though there's joy in a swishing line and a splendid thrill when my grip I set and a small mouth cod is mine. But my soul seems cramped in the stifling air that is heavy with talk of gain and I want to get out where the world is fair and there isn't so much pain. Fish can be bought in the marketplace, but I long for the running stream, and I want to be free of my care-drawn face and the city of dreadful dreams. I want to stretch out just my soul and I on a sun-kissed rocky shore and be as a few mad hours rush by the man I was once more.